Today we're gonna learn how to make this gooey slime substance with Thai flow. I use it in my video here, the 3D model is from Sketchfab. And also this other model, this other video is more simple setup. I'm gonna go through it with you. And none of this would be possible without Mohammed. He posts originally the his result in video. He was also um, Phoenix here for the extra drips. Very nice. And he posts the type flow, the flow itself. And then EPI. Also, thank you very much. He was kind enough to share the files with me. He posted the group also. And that's why I understood. And now I'm gonna show you exactly step by step of how to make this effect. Let's go. The logic behind this effect is we're gonna spread some particles in one face and particles on the other face. And then we're gonna bind them, right? And in another event, we are going to create a bind between those bindings. So it'll be something like that. And then the one operator will shrink those, um, those bindings and then we'll make them to bulge. So you get this effect of slime when they are pulling apart. My model has two different face ID. So this one is number one and this is number two. The same for the top. First, we birth some particles. Zero, zero, a hundred particles if need. Later we increase this to create more slime. Then we add to position object. Then we select our part and then we make an object bind. So the particles will always follow the part. And in object face, because we select different uh, areas that you want the particles, then we here we select the material ID. So now it's attached there just to visualize large dots. Now what we can do to make life simple is to copy this event and paste this event here and just switch the sides. Change color. Perfect. So how these particles will find those one is through the operator set target and we use by proximity and this is the radius that it will try to find the next particles next part you're gonna connect then through binding particle binding But this kind of bind is not by proximity. Let's show binding so you can visualize them. Is by target binding. It's already selected here. Sometimes this can happen. Look what happened if I transfer here, it will connect, but not here. Basically, this is about the evaluation priority so if you want to from the top match down then this need to be set to second and this will be the first next step is to create a bunch of particles on those bindings so use resample remember to put this time into continuous create a new event any threshold in my case I'll put around five and here now I'll create a group particle group because you want to separate those particles from those here when we make the new binding. So I put number two and interpolate not siblings but particle bindings. So now you have all the particles 
that we send to this new event here. And we group them in number two. So next step is create another particle binding. And this time is by proximity and let's show binding and then we use the same group that we set here this is number two and let's put a brighter color so you can see the bindings let's here put uh, three bindings and the multiplier you can increase until you see the bindings happening Now to shrink those connections, we use modify bindings. First we put this in continuous and then multiply operation multiply the original, we change the stretch, for example 0 0.3, interpolation 0 0.8 and variation 20% for example and if it's too much of course we can change it to our taste now it's still 0 0.6 looks a little bit better one thing that we can do to clean up this a little bit is to use a stop operator on the on the top. Let's see on, off, on looks better. Also, a slow operator helps calm down everything. And what really sells the illusion is increase here now the number of particles and modifying bindings that's those bindings here right we can increase the number of bindings and the search area now is 10 let's put 15 this is the parameters that you can use to modify the visualization that you want. Another cleanup to do is that you see that when it's stretching it's going to the center here. So what we can do to address that is to add a particle switch. In this event we deactivate the bindings also in this event we deactivate the bindings and here just press shift and drag so you're copying it then here we are activating it back so now you see that it's not dragging to the center of those bindings here so it stays more in place so that's good another thing that worth to mention is the stiffness of the second binding will play a big role in your uh, visualization. It's C0.5, it's more a little bit relaxed and so on. So play with this value also will be quite interesting. This is my setup for the Tiger. Uh, exactly the same as you can see here on the side. I just put gravity, tweak some values, but let's see in the practical how I use it. First I download from Sketchfab this model, link in description, then I cut in two parts, and then I just made animation, actually I cut in three, and then I just animate the parts. Then the next step was to remove copy and delete everything except the tooth. So and then I link to the to the original mesh. And then I in type flow, as you can see here, positional object, tooth up and then tooth down, just like we did in the tutorial. 
and then the next step was to apply a time measure and I select tie spline because sorry in tie flow I use a spline path particle bindings create new and then in time measure I apply the spline use the settings of um, radius, voxel, uh, sometimes it's good to use some filtering also, right? And then basically that's it. One little trick though, to make one particle to uh, quote unquote find the other, I just overlapped the animation in the beginning so they can connect exactly because of that part of uh, this operator, find target, set target by proximity. So now then they connect and that's it. Then you have the, the slime project that you can use for caramel, for some commercial or some slime for creatures. And yeah. Hope you like it. If you do something, uh, comment here. I can show in my next video. And also subscribe, please. It helps me. And see you next one.